Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange 2. We are on the final episode, episode number 5. Things have gotten crazy, uh, and uh, I got a feeling that, you know, this one's going to end off with a bang. It's a final uh, episode. Uh, all the other uh, parts that I played last night from episode 4, 3, and 2 are all uploaded to YouTube once this is done. I'll upload it immediately to finish off the series. But I gotta tell you, it's been uh, quite the ride. I have to admit, it was a little bit slow to begin with, but um, kind of meeting the different characters, the different areas, um, there were definitely uh, a lot of peaks, a lot of valleys. The difference between this game and Life is Strange 1 and Before the Storm is uh, I always have like a constant fear, especially when you're moving from place to place. There was never really a, a true moment where there, I felt the characters were safe. Right, there was always that element of danger and you know, just playing through this, it's the game should be called not Life is Strange too, but like Sean gets beat up again too, you know what I mean? So uh yeah, uh, it's been tackling a lot of issues, religious cults, um, you know, Trump, racism, uh, politics, just um kind of systemic racism, all that, um homosexuality and stuff with Jacob. Uh, being kind of discriminated against or exiled because you know you're just trying to be you and you're different. Uh, it's tackling a lot of larger issues, which is what I appreciate. Definitely a, a different cup of tea from the original Life is Strange. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll play this final episode, see how it is. With that, let us play. Let's go. Can't wait to finish this off. Sad to see it finished, but hey. Took me uh took me a while to get to this party. I'm glad I, I finally arrived. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers. The only thing I don't like about these recaps is it their papa wolf. It starts from the very, very beginning, like episode one. To hunters took their dad away. So this is the same scene that I've seen in like two, three, four. Wolf so. brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, like how the reverend is a sly fox. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers. Now and there's the money shot, baby followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Cool, cool. Oh, wow. All right. So almost two months after. Arizona.
they sleeping outside right now? Uh, fuck. See his hair is grown out. Graduated from that bowl cut. Hey. Wake up, Sean. <sighs> Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Look at that ray tracing, baby. Beauty. And I would not do that, like sleeping by a canyon. Like, what's, I'd be rolling in my sleep. I'd roll right off. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. <clears throat> I wonder where the mom is. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Yeah, Wolf Pack is back. <laughs> Diaz brothers, always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know. About Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes... I feel like she's around. Coming after me. It's scary. <sighs> she's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah. I know. I just wish she wasn't around anymore. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? <laughs> sort of. No, we're not criminals. What are you talking no about? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us... We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of... The wolf story? Never too oh. old for stories. Yeah, I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied the evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... Okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Look how he has uh, new scars where that guy was beating him with a gun. That's cool. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. So what journal entries we got here. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Ah, a little boy with telekinesis. Whatever. Every star looked the same, until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Well, okay, we still get... Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. But we can draw something here. There's the money shot. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Dan. Hey, you went insane and ruined my eye? But if I can see it in my mind. I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop trying. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Yeah, that's cool. But he doesn't look as badass as me. I hope we can go.
go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Whew. It's so nice and cool in the morning here. Then it gets... Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Activate flashlight. On the way. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. What's the big deal? Look. Seriously? What did you do that for? <sighs> Whatever. That thing could sting us to death. So what? You just torture it? <sighs> Jeez. Hey. I won't do it again, if it matters to you. Let's just head out now. A little psycho. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. You're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Maybe she just doesn't care. You think? Karen is kind of like that. Like a hippie. She just goes with the flow, man. Looks like a job for our local super <laughs> psychic boy. Karen... So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. So I guess we're at a commune here. We're going to meet everybody there.
back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Classic Karen. Always leaving. Copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat what you ran. Over and out. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. So does this uh, squeeze or what? What happened to Sarah Lee here? This guy's playing. Still can't believe she's kept it. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. Huh. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. <clears throat> yeah, he likes playing Torture the Scorpion. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Really hope she, yeah. It looks like she's trying to make amends. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh. Gross. Gotta recharge the bats. One thing Claire and Karen have in common. Their love for pancakes. <clears throat> What Karen's been searching, let's check it out. Had no clue there was a network <clears throat> of seed pirates. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing pain. Go, Brody! Love Brody, man. Seeing the good into it. We miss you too, Lila. Always. Whoa. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. I didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice and her songs. And, oh, dude. Ooh, baby, man. She's still thirsty. So good to have a home again and a real bed. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. 
She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. It's a dry heat. Worst kind, man. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. Looks like they all finally found their home. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Nice mess. <laughs> Tanya will never change. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna sit and draw this. a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. You gotta draw the wolf pack, man. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Dude, 
We could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. <laughs> it's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. I mean, it looks glorious, but it doesn't help you or anything. I don't Joanne know. says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Do you feel it? Like there's power cuts all the time here. Yeah. But no one's really it's bothered by it. In my fingers. Almost like pins and needles. That's so weird. <laughs> I love it. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Hopefully we meet up with Lila at some point. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel. Let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <sighs> I don't know. It's just doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too, compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money, and as soon as I did, Everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay, sure. Why not? Ah, uh, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. <laughs> That's a cool little uh, sculpture there. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but... Go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. I 
Okay, Daniel. Can you... Slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup! Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. All right. Man, I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. You got it. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where's he going? Now, let's throw on that spider. Watch this. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? There he goes! <laughs> I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. The muse approves. Oh, yeah. It's super cool. Thanks for listening to me, Sean. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. I okay. look so goddamn ugly that was fun joanne is so chill about her art that's what makes her talented i bet you would like minecraft it, it, it's kind of like this yeah i've read about it it's a video game right yes and you can build whatever you want in it Ooh, you have to show me then precarious patriot Shrouded in That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Lurid politics. Yeah, you hate it. All the way down. All the way down. Okay, I guess we need to find this Arthur guy. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. They still love to party. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So 
So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna oh hang around before it gets too hot. Got a little Thanks sassy the relationship room. there. Nice little guys. I, I like them, I like them, I like them. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Huh. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. Yeah, Brody was, was a, a man. Guy. <sighs> now that's some real patriots. <laughs> Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. Ten four. Okay, you're on it, I know. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. I'm kind of you must that. find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So, for the first item, is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's that's it. That's your clue. You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. It's probably this, maybe. Way cold. Really? Many wings, but cannot fly? Nope! As cold as ever! They're warming up! Getting warm! <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. They still love to party. The one with the girl asking herself if her baby's father was actually the father of because he didn't cheat. Oh, it's burned! 
you're warm. You this part of town fire. is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Oh. It's close, Sean. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <sighs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Something that eats the sun, huh? If you go too far, you lose your walkie-talkie signal. Solar panels or something? Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The second item is where the sun meets the earth. Not too far. Yeah, solar panels. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Oh hoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Guess people came here with these and never left. We'll find that treasure, baby. Record time. Let's go. This better be good. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on! Hell oh, yeah, bust the move. Let's see it, Sean. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries.
like hearing the car. I don't see it though. Ah, here we go. Oh, she's with someone. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Hey, what's up? Glad to see you hey. survived the night in the desert. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah, been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right, and he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's <sighs> skills. <sighs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. For you. A walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <clears throat> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> Wait a I'm minute. Divorced now. What? But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. Is that? Is that David? Before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father, especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, holy shit, is that David? Can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Holy shit! I'll start my delivery now. That's David from Arcadia Found Bay. Some weird snacks in town. That's Chloe's uh, step douche. <laughs> Get out of it. No way. Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay. Time out. Oh, that makes so much sense. He was in the military. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. What happened to it's Joyce? Way better than Sean. <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> 
You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and Anna. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party Hope my crops made me. him feel so happy. that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes yeah I bet <laughs> you've been here over a month now what do you think of our little oasis <laughs> everybody's very cool and way different can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power well Sean oh, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it but people here are not gonna get in your space they have their own past, too. That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Be nice just to Guess chill that's back what there. Everybody's really looking for. Even for a week Peace. or two. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. All right, I think this is a good point to stop. We're approaching an hour. Um uh, seems like, you know, how I talked in earlier parts about peaks and valleys. This is, seems to be a valley like we're in a new area. Things are calmed down. We're seeing new characters. It was absolutely awesome to see David as a cameo. 
uh, in this game. I'm not really sure what happened to the wife. Maybe I missed some dialogue. I kind of zoned out a bit there. Uh, maybe mentioned something about the wife, but um, yeah, awesome game. Um, maybe there might be surprises in the end. Um, stay tuned to find out if you're enjoying the series. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new content. And I will see you in the next part. Thank you.